mass locker, numerical analysis, lecture number 16, vibration analysis, mechanical engineering. YouTube channel Mass Locker provide you easy mathematics techniques. WhatsApp number, email address. My name is Saeed Ahmed Shah. I'm professor at Space Nawaz Shah. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Lecture number 16. Topics. Vibration analysis. Problem. Vibration analysis. Mechanical engineering. The problem deals with the design of an automobile shock absorber. Here is a shock absorber. We want to design this shock absorber. In the above figure, a car of mass M is supported by a spring. Shock absorber offer resistance to motion of the car that is proportional to vertical speed up and down motion of the car. Distance of the car from equilibrium causes the system with move and oscillation motion x of t. At any instant, the net forces acting on mass M are the resistance of the spring and the damping force of the shock absorber. The resistance of the spring is proportional to a spring constant k and the distance of the equilibrium x is by Hooke's law a spring force is equal to minus kx. Where the negative sign indicates that the restoring force at the returns the car towards the position of equilibrium. The damping force or shock absorber is given by damping force is equal to minus c times of dx over dt. Where c is the damping coefficient and dx over dt is the vertical velocity. The negative sign indicates that the damping force at in the opposite direction against the velocity. The equation of motion for the system is given by Newton's second law f is equal to m. A spring force plus damping force is equal to mass into acceleration minus kx minus c times or dx over dt is equal to m times or d2x over dt. After simplifying, we have a form m d2x over dt2 plus c times or dx over dt plus kx is equal to d Further, make the second derivative coefficient one dividing each term by m. So we have d2x over dt2 plus c over m dx over dt plus k over m times x is equal to 0. This is called the required mathematical model in the form of a differential equation. Problem If the car has the hole in the rod at t is equal to 0, such that it is displaced from equilibrium with x is equal to 0.3 the and dx over dt is equal to 0 c is equal to 1.4 into 10 power 7 and mass m is equal to 1.2 into 10 power 6 and k is equal to 1.25 into 10 power 9 write the above equation we will have to write this equation solution d2x over dt2 plus c over m dx over dt plus k over m times x is equal to 0. Calculate the value of c over m and k over m, c over m, substituting the value of c over m from here in the formula. Then we have a result. Similarly, k upon m, we can calculate substitute the value of k and m here at the form. Now, above equations, substituting the value of c over m here in the above formula, k over m in the equation here. So we can write the equation like this one d2x over dt2 plus 11.66 dx over dt plus 1 0 over 1.66 x is equal to 0. Initial conditions at the time t is equal to 0, distance is 0 0.3. Uh, so we can write the x t of 0 is equal to 0 0.3. dx over dt means a derivative at dash in velocity. At the time t is equal to 0, velocity is 0. This is called the initial condition because the time is here is 0 in these two points. Applying the analytical technique get the analytical solution. This is called the x of t is equal to solution of this initial value problem 0 0.3 times of e power minus 5.8 dt times of cos 31.748. Using the max step, sketch the graph. Here is a zero. These are called the roots, which means it is the time of the compressing the string. 
again taking the graph in large scale here is the time where the compressed is spring we want to calculate the because the height will be zero at the compressing time we want to calculate this time or this for the root so first root is lying 0, point, 0 between 0 and 0 0.1 second root is lying between 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 third root 0 0.2 0 0.3 we will have to calculate these or last root will be lying 0 0.9 and 1 we will have to calculate these roots for the sky the graph between 0 and 0 0.1 as the end interval short interval the root yeah, compression time is lying in the interval 0.04 and 0.05. We want to calculate this uh, root or compression time, so we are using the bisection formula 0.04a, 0.05. We putting here, all then get the required time. So this is for the root or this is for the required time 0.0499, which is lying in the interval 0.04 and 0.05. This is for the compression time. Similarly, again, is KG 0. Uh, yeah, between 0 0.1 and 0 0.2. This is called the compression time, or you can say root, which is lying 0 0.14 and between 0 0.14 and 0 0.15. So, using A 0 0.14 or B 0 0.15, or applying the bisection formula, then we have a compression time, or we can say the root, which is lying between the interval 0 0.14 and 0 0.15. Similarly, again, we can calculate the root which is lying between 0 0.24 and 0 0.26 using the bisection formula. Then we can get the result. So all roots we can calculate the all compression time between 0 0.6 and 0 0.1. We can calculate these roots all compression time by using the bisection formula. and of the lecture.